Hello friends, how are we doing? This is always my beginning of fall outfit. This is like the dress that I go to <laughs> when fall is beginning. When you do campy stuff like this, it's important that the execution is like superb. Yes. Otherwise, it's just gonna look like a Halloween costume. I am gonna boot it. So I'm gonna boot this as well. Sometimes I wear a hat, I feel like I wore the hat I wore this exact outfit in my last full TBR, but it's it's the it's the full outfit. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> Do we want the hat? I don't even know where the hat is. I think the hat has gone. It's gone walkies. I found it. It's gonna be a bit crumpled though. I don't think we want the hat today. I mean, she is kind of like a vibe, you know. But no. <laughs> We're not going with that today. So yeah, today we're gonna be chatting through my full TBR. I know it's not quite technically full yet. It's like the end of September, isn't it? But like, let's be honest, everyone's getting into the full vibe but I'm feeling left out. <laughs> In the UK, it's been so hot. Today is the first cooler day we have. So I was like, right, I'm filming this now. <laughs> So we're going to be chatting through 10 books that I'm going to be reading in the fall and I'm going to um, pair the ones that are in videos together together and I want to see if you can guess what the videos are. Then I've got I think three books at the end where I don't I thought the whole thing was about to fall down then, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I got about three books at the end that I don't have any set plans to read, but I am just hoping to fit into other videos this this fall. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see if I get lucky with that. But shall we just get into it and chat about the books I'm gonna be reading this fall? There's lots of horror on this list, there's lots of mysteries, there's lots of gothic books. So let's get into it, shall we? So the first two books that are paired together on my full TBR are The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kirsten White and The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. Can we guess what the video for these is? <laughs> I don't know, I'm not psychic! So, let me talk about Sherlock first because this was in TBR Cluedo for this month. So, I have the Penguin Call Fan Classic for this and this actually has The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes which are actually two separate books. This is a bind up of them. And you guys told me in TBR Cluedo I can count them as two separate books and I've actually made the decision I'm only going to read The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. I'm actually going to listen to the Stephen Fry audiobook and I'm going to read A Study in Scarlet first which I know is technically the first Sherlock Holmes book but that isn't in this and then I'm going to read The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes because I kind of feel like I want to save some Sherlock Holmes for the future. I know there's probably other short stories other than what's in Adventures and Memoirs, but I'm going to save Memoirs for future times. So I'm only going to be reading A Study in Scarlet and The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. But I'm really excited. I mean, like, Sherlock is like the ultimate British detective, really, isn't he? And I've never read any Sherlock Holmes, <laughs> as much as I like to pretend to be him when I solve, <laughs> trying to solve mysteries. I've never read Sherlock Holmes, and so... I'm intrigued to see how my like societal perception of Sherlock as a character matches up to what is in these books. But this is now one of the oldest books on my TBR that I've been meaning to get around to forever. And honestly, I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> for tackling a classic. And then The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know much about this. I really wanna read Mr. Magic by Kirsten White, which has just come out. But it's, I know it's something to do with Frankenstein. <laughs> It's a reimagining of Frankenstein, but we're following Elizabeth, who I think is friends with Victor Frankenstein. I don't really know, but um, I'm reading this for a certain video. Can we guess how these pair together? We've got Sherlock, we've got Frankenstein. I think you can guess the rough vibe I'm going for here, but I don't think you're gonna get the, I don't think you're gonna guess it exactly. I don't think you're gonna get it. <laughs> you naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. <laughs> This is gonna be my introduction to Kirsten White and I know this isn't one of her most popular books but it is like an older YA and I'm feeling like, you know, it could be a vibe. I'm intrigued to read it. So that is the first pairing for a vlog. Then, oh, this is exciting. Okay, the next vlog, there's a lot of other books that are gonna be in this vlog but the two that I'm gonna tell you about are Lost in a Moment and Found by Shauna Maguire and The Tea Dagger Tapestry. <laughs> I'm so excited for both of these. These are both gonna be five stars. I can just tell you now, right this second, both of these are gonna be five stars. Both of them are gonna be five stars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Art delusional. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start with the Tea Dragon Tapestry, because I just think this this is the last in the Tea Dragon series. Isn't it such beautiful autumnal colours? Oh! You guys don't get it. This is one of the most lovely graphic novel series I've ever read. I cannot wait to get into all of K. O'Neill's backlist because it makes me feel something. It makes me feel a lot, in fact. It really makes me feel a lot. 
I love this series and we're following the characters from the first book. The second book is a prequel but in this we're back in like the present day with the characters from the first book and oh my god just the <laughs> You guys tell me oh I'm gonna cry. I can't even look at it. I'm so excited. It's just kind of this fantastical story. These stories um, often have a lot of heart to them. They're so heartwarming. They often have a very diverse cast of characters which I really appreciate and I'm gonna be reading it soon. I'm gonna finish this series. Isn't this exciting? I'll be excited. Absolutely stunning. You look stunning, darling. So stunning. Oh my God, wait. The quote at the top is a tender, lovingly crafted book about growth, longing, grief, and renewal that I, renewal, n renewal, 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 <laughs> renewal, renewal, <laughs> okay, that I want to read over and over again. Oh, I love the tea dragon so much. And then yeah, you guys will also know that the Wayward Children series is one of my favourite series of all time. I love Shauna Maguire, she can do no wrong, and these series, this series is usually a five star now for me. Because I'm so deep into the world, the series, the characters, that like it's always a five star. So these are little novellas, and this is the next one. Well, this came out at the start of the year, Lost in the Moment and Found, and I'm finally gonna be reading it. Aren't we excited? Yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> So excited. I've been petting this one off because I know it deals with heavier topics. So I've been trying to wait for a time that I feel like I can handle it. Um, I think it deals with child abuse and topics like that. I believe there is a trigger warning or an author's note at the beginning. But yes, that is two books. I'm gonna be reading in the same vlog. Again, get your guesses in down below. I wanna see what your guesses are. Are you gonna guess these? Hmm, what do these books have in common? This is so much fun. <laughs> The next book, I know I'm gonna be reading, but there's two different like iterations of this vlog that I don't know, I don't know, okay. <laughs> there's two different variations of this vlog that I'm debating doing. And I don't know for either of those vlogs what the other books slash books I would read are, but I know that this book I'm gonna read either way. So this is the only book for this vlog, so it's not much help. But I am gonna be reading Sleuth It by Brom in October, and I'm very, very excited. Spooky, spooky, cokey, and creepy. I wanna read this for so long. This is a dark horror. It's got like, oh my God, guys, the illustrations in this. Where, where are they? Excuse me. Oh yeah, at the, at the middle, oh my God. Are we freaking out? Are we? <laughs> So it's set in Connecticut in 1666, an ancient spirit awakens in a dark wood. They call him Slutha, demon, devil, Oh, And then there's like a recently widowed outcast. He's the only one she can turn to for help. Together they ignite a bar battle between pagan and Puritan. I'm so excited. I've heard such good things about this. I've wanted to get to it the whole year, but I thought, yeah, I should save this for spooky season. This is a spooky season book and I'm saving it for spooky season. <laughs> I'm really excited. A Tale of Bewitchery. Oh, I'm really excited. Everyone who I've seen read this has loved it. So I'm been reading this. I haven't told you what the other books are, but can we guess? You probably can't guess. This is one you can't guess, but I'm really, really excited. I think, again, I think a lot of these are like five star predictions, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just think she's very delusional and maybe possibly insane. I keep saying that about all the books I'm reading and then I end up not getting five stars, but like you have to have hope in this world, right? A lack of hope. I mean, what's the point if you have a lack of hope? <laughs> what's the point in carrying on? So anyways, reading Sleuth Fit in October. Then you won't guess what vlog this is because it's they, these books have no relation to one another. But I am in a vlog going to be reading Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher and The Golden Spoon by Jessa Maxwell. I have not decided what the other books I'm gonna be reading in this vlog are yet. Maybe Saga volume two as well. It's another, another teaser. You guys are like, what the fuck is this vlog? <laughs> How does, how does, where is it? Let me get it out, I guess. How does Saga Volume 2, Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher and The Golden Spoon by Jessa Maxwell, <laughs> how do they go together? Saga is a sci-fi, I don't really know, I can't remember what is a spoiler for this or not, but it's like a, it's a sci-fi graphic novel comic book kind of thing. Um, we're following a young family in particular as they try to survive, they're being hunted down. That was a little little bonus teaser, but Golden Spoon and Nettle and Bone I've, I've spoken about recently in TBR Cluedo, but The Golden Spoon, is Murder Mystery with the Great British Bake Off. I mean, come on now. <laughs> I'm obsessed. 
I am going to this with camp expectations, not great literary expectations, camp expectations. And then I am so excited to read Nestle and Bone, having read A House of Good Bones by T. Kingfisher and loving it. I gave that a 4.5. And this is fantastical. We're following, I think, a, a girl who wants to kill a prince, but she has to complete three impossible tasks to do so. And I'm just so excited to read all of T. Kingfisher's stuff. I think her writing is incredible. Incredible. Like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. <laughs> she seems to have this humour in her writing, but also there's this, like, deep understanding of human emotion and human feelings, and I just... I'm obsessed. So I think this is gonna be a great reading vlog, but I haven't decided what else and I need quite a few other books. That's all I'm gonna say. And then we have the three books that I most wanna get to this fall, but I have no plans to. So let's see where I can fit them in. So first we have Starling House by Alex E. Harrow. I was lucky enough to get an arc of this. This comes out in October. And I, the plot is that there's this weird house Everyone just says, leave it alone. It's like a little bit cursed. But Opal, I think her main character is like, mm, yeah, I'm interested. I'm interested. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't know a ton about it, but it's Alex E. Hiro and the, where is she? There she is. The Once and Future Witches by Alexi Harrow is one of my favorite books. I get five stars. And there's just something about her writing that is impeccable, impeccable. Like I'm, obsessed like her writing is beautiful it's lush it's lyrical it's emotional it's amazing so <laughs> starling house i just feel like this gothic vibe this eerie vibe i have to read it this fall like if i want to read this at the perfect time like i'm always stressing out about i have to read it this fall i can't do it you can you can do it you can then another one that i really want to get to is just another missing person by Gillian McAllister. so i loved wrong place wrong time last year by Gillian McAllister. I thought it was such a unique mystery thriller and this one sounds very intriguing as well I'll just I always like this blurb here. So we've got Olivia 22 years old No history of running away last seen on CCTV entering a dead-end alley and not coming back out again Okay, drama. Julia is the detective heading up the case. She knows what to expect. A desperate family, but Julia has no idea how close to home it's going to get because her family's safety depends on one thing. Julia must not find out what happened to Olivia. The drama, isn't that dramatic? I don't know, I'm really excited to read Julie McAllister's next book. I feel like she could become a new favorite mystery thriller author for me. Like I'm just, I just feel it. Wrong Place, Wrong Time was so good. It was so good guys. And I just feel like this is gonna hit. It's gonna hit in the same way. And I'm just, I'm like, I'm uncontrollable. I can't wait to read it. So hopefully I will fit this in somewhere. And then the last book is probably the least fully out of these. I reckon all the other books on this list have been quite, you know, full vibes. I, I want to read Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. I haven't read it yet. And we know Ali Hazelwood, uh, she's my favourite romance author. So, my favourite romance author. Favourite romance author. <laughs> I love Ali Hazelwood and I haven't read this yet and it's just gonna be a good time. I know I'm gonna give this at least four stars. I've given her a five and a, I think I gave Love on the Brain a 4.5. But I have such good feelings about this. Me and Ali Hazelwood, we just get along. She gets me. She understands me. She knows who I want to be as a person. <laughs> I just think I was talking about her romances that are fun. I think because she used to write fan fiction, I always say you know, I dabbled in fan fiction back then. Not as much as some people. I was never Wattpad. I was a Tumblr fan fiction girl. I'm a little bit concerned. And so there's something about this that feels nostalgic. I recognise the kind of beats of it. And yes, it is kind of the same thing over and over again, but I don't care. I don't care. Miss Ali gets it. <laughs> There we have it. That is my full TBR. I feel like a lot of books that are like perfect vibes to fall. That was my aim with making this TBR. Like even Tea Dragon Society is like full colours, but so many of these are like gothic vibes, dark mysteries. I'm so excited. I love, this is my favorite reading time, okay? Autumn is the best reading time. It's the best reading time. And not just for horror and spooky books, but for murder mysteries, everything comes alive <laughs> in autumn. So I'm really excited to read all these books. Please let me know what you thought of any of these. And if you got to the end, comment an autumn leaf emoji, you know, the falling leaves that are brown. Comment that, because we need to, you know, I'm, I actually want autumn now. I don't want summer anymore. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.